to store the floating point representation of the fractional number in the computer we need to make it more standard this standard way to represent the fractional number is called the normal form in this standard way we write the significant of the number as 1 point something and then write into 2 to the power exponent so we have to write this number as 1 point something into 2 to the power exponent this form is called the normal form of the floating point number so we have to shift this decimal point means fractional point three places left that's how it will be in the normal form if you write 2 to the power 3 here binary 1 1 means 3 then we have to shift the decimal point three places left and we did it this is how we have converted this binary fractional floating point number into the normal form for the better understanding let's work on the 8 bit floating point number Although the floating point numbers in the computer are 32 bit or 64 bit, but we are working on 8 bit floating point number to make our understanding more clear. First point, only the number in the normal form can be stored as the floating point number in the computer. So if you have any binary floating point number, first convert it to the normal form. This is the 8 bit places where we are going to store the number. Here in red colored block, we will store the sign bit 0 or 1. If our number is positive, we will store 0 here and if our number is negative, we will store 1 here. In these three blue colored bits, we will store the exponent. So this exponent will be stored here. And in these four bits, we have to store whatever is after the decimal point. Remember that since we converted the fractional number into the normal form, so for us, it's obviously in the form of one point something. So we do not have to store this one point. We only have to store this something. That's how we will store this 101 here as a significant. Other thing you have to remember that we cannot store this 11 as it is in the place of exponent. We do not store the value of the exponent as it is here. First we do biasing before we store it. And here we add 3 in the exponent before we store it. We will add 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 and we will store 6 here, not 3. Why we are doing all these things? Why we are not storing just 3? Why we are storing 6 after adding the 3 in the exponent? And what is the biasing? We will see it in a while in this video. Now since our number is positive, that's why we have to write 0 in the sign bit. If our number was negative, then we have to write 1 in the sign bit. We need to store this significant here. That's how we stored it here. And we have to store this exponent here, but after adding 3. So first we added 3 in the 3, make it 6, and we stored binary of the 6 in the exponent part of our 8-bit floating point number. Now let's see what is the biasing and why we were adding 3 in the exponent before we store it in the exponent part of our number. We know that the exponent can be negative. How can we store a negative exponent? We cannot use the sign bit for it because we already used a sign bit for the whole number and again using it for the exponent makes the floating point number more complicated. We cannot use two's complement for it. Means we cannot treat the most significant bit of the exponent as a negative weight. It will also make the floating point number more complicated. To store the negative weight, we will use the method called biasing. To use biasing, first we need to calculate bias. If the exponent is of n bit, then we select a bias as 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1. In our case, we have 3 bit exponent, so we select a bias as 2 to the power 3 minus 1 minus 1, which is 3. And that bias is going to be added in the exponent before we store it. That's why we have added 3 in the exponent 3. If we are adding the bias in the exponent, then the range of the exponent will become minus bias to the bias plus 1. That means the range of the exponent in our example should be minus 3 to 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. You can see here, here exponent is minus 3. Minus 1 1 means minus 3. So the exponent is minus 3 and bias is 3. We need to store minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0 in the exponent part. Since the number is positive, so we add 0 in the sign weight. This is the significant part, we need to store it here. After one point, whatever binary we have, we need to store it here. So we stored 0101 in the significant part. 
then after we need to store this exponent after adding it with the bias and we stored the 0 because minus 3 plus bias 3 is equal to 0. So this is how we store the binary floating point number in the memory. This is our previous example we already seen. Here the exponent is 3 and bias is also 3. We need to store 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 in the exponent part. That's why we stored the 0 because number is positive. We stored this significant here. We have to store exponent part after adding it with bias here in the exponent part. Let's see example. We have to convert 0 0.5625 in binary. First the number is positive. So store 0 at the sign bit position. Here we have to store 0 because the number is positive. The binary of 0 0.5625 is 0 0.1001. But 0 0.1001 is not in the normal form. So first convert this number in the normal form. Normalized form of the 0 0.1001 is 1.001 .001 into 2 to the power minus 1. So now we have significant 001 and we have to store in exponent part as minus 1 plus 3 is equal to 2. So binary of 2 we need to store in the exponent part. This will be stored in the significant 001 and this one will be stored here in the exponent part. Let us convert this 8 bit binary floating point number in decimal. We have to write minus 1 to the power sine bit, this sine bit multiplied by 1 point significant, this significant multiplied by 2 to the power exponent minus bias. So write it minus 1 to the power 0 because sine bit is 0 multiplied by 1 point this significant 0, 0, 1, 0. So minus 1 to the power 0 multiplied by 1.0010 0, 1, 0 into 2 to the power exponent, exponent is 0, 1, 0. So 2 to the power 0, 1, 0 minus bias. Minus 1 to the power 0 results in 1 multiplied by 1.125 multiplied by 2 to the power 2 minus 3. The binary 0 0.0010 results in 0.125. So we have to write 1.125 instead of 1.0010. So 1 multiplied by 1.125 multiplied by 2 to the power 2. 0, 1, 0 means decimal 2. 2 to the power 2 minus 3. That results in 1.125 into 2 to the power minus 1. And finally the decimal corresponding to this binary is 0 0.5625.